Okay, I'm going to do foods and moxa on kidney one. So first we have to make some um, foods and cakes in order to do indirect moxa bustion. So this is some foods and powder. It's just the herb foods that I've ground up. It's not the granules. And I don't want to make a lot because I'm just doing <clears throat> one moxa cake for me, one foods and cake for me. So I put a little bit in a bowl. This is white flour, and I'm putting approximately an equal amount in with it. I'm gonna mix the two powders. Okay. And now I'm gonna take some water. You could use other things. You could use um, Huangzhou yellow liquor, or you could use maybe vinegar. And I want to make a paste that's um, pretty thick. I don't want it to be drippy. I want it to hold together. So I'm careful not to add too much water to it, a little bit more. Okay. Let's see now. So this is just food stuff from the pharmacy, ground and sifted. Let's see, that might be too dry, but sometimes when you start kneading it, it um, the texture really changes. So let's see what I can do. Maybe I need a little bit more moisture, maybe not. So I'm kneading it just like you'd knead bread dough. And the white flour will start making it hold together instead of being crumbly. If you just moisten the fuzu without the white flour, it just gets crumbly. So, you know, I could mess with it some more, but um, this is good enough. So now... I have a little ball of fuzu dough and what I need to do is then make a little fuzu cake. Okay, How thick you make will be how much insulation it gives against the heat. Next, you take a toothpick and you make a few holes in it. Especially you want the hole in the center so that when you put the burning moxicone on top, the heat can penetrate. So, there. Okay, we've got some holes in it. <clears throat> um, we can put this part aside. And the other thing you're going to need is some moxa cones. So I've made a few in advance over here. I'm going to pause this and set up for the next part. Okay. Uh, I think it's recording. Yeah, it's recording. Sorry, I'm not good at doing this. So this is a little hard to do on yourself to like get in the right position and then have it so the camera can get it. So I'm putting a cone of moxa on top of the cake and I'm lighting a stick of incense. And then, so the cake is on kidney one and the cone of moxa is on the cake. And then I'm lighting the cone with the incense. Okay. And you can see it's burning. I don't feel much yet. You won't feel until it starts getting down near the bottom. I have an ashtray nearby and if I need to lift it off, I can. You can also um, take slices of foods from your pharmacy and soak them in water overnight, poke holes in them and use the slices. But 
I find it's easier to make the little cakes. The, the slices sometimes crack and fall apart and don't always work as well. So right now it stopped smoking and it looks kind of like it's burnt down, but actually if you put your hand over, you can still feel a lot of heat being thrown off. So it's still an ember inside, burning inside. still throwing off heat. I could put a second cone on top, but if I did, it would light from the bottom because it's still burning inside. So in a, you know, I'm still waiting for it to go out. I should have put the tray with my supplies in a different place. Okay, I've got another cone ready. Seems to be out. So if I wanted to do another slice, I mean another cone, I'd just squish this on top, making sure it makes good contact and light it with incense again and do three cones or five cones or seven cones, usually an odd number, until I feel a nice penetrating heat in kidney one. Of course, this would be better if someone, I was lying down and someone was doing this on me rather than me doing it on myself, but that's the basic way. I'm gonna show you a different way in a minute, so I'm gonna hit pause. Okay, the next method, I'm going to use these, you know, a stick-on cone. Maybe you've seen them before, self-adhesive cones. Here's the box. I know this video is pretty unprofessional. So first I'm going to light it by holding this in the candle, in a candle flame. It takes a little while to get it lit. Yeah, I'm lighting it. Okay. And it has a little tab at the bottom that you pull off and then you can stick it in place. I'm gonna make sure it's stuck. I don't want it falling off on me. Okay. And then there's a little hole in the bottom and the smoke comes down the chimney through the hole and gathers around the point. The yellow ones rarely get too hot. The green color base can sometimes get too hot, so you should always have tweezers um, so you could take it off if it gets too hot and an ashtray to put it in. If it's too hot and you use your fingers, you're going to burn your little fingers as well. So I like these a lot. I like watching the smoke come down and collect. But in any case, I don't want to smoke up my place too much, so I'm going to take it off and um, not let it continue because this is just a demonstration. So that's how to do moxo on kidney one.